Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ. Today, we're going to be taking a first look at the patented liquid fertilizer wagons from Custom Modding. These mods are meant for all platforms for the Mod Hub and are currently being finished up. They've set this over to show you guys ahead of time so we can get a close look and see quite literally all of the little itty bitty details and the massive impact that these are going to make on your farm. They also sent over a little bit of a brochure, so let's take a look at that. They say, all of our models for liquid fertilizer wagons are built with the customer in mind, assuring that the quality of worksmanship is the best in the industry. New models are field tested prior to being offered to the marketplace to assure that the design meets or exceeds customer expectations. The heavy-duty tubular construction axles and hubs are designed to exceed the total load limit, giving you many years of trouble-free service. They also offer a variety of tire and track systems to greatly reduce your soil compaction. So as you've probably been able to tell, we're going to be getting two models with these, basically a single axle and a double axle. We do have some customization options for both of these, and we're going to talk about compatibility with Customonning's other mods, or, well, mod duh, at least for now. As always, I want to thank Customonning for sending these over to show you guys a first look at. We'll leave some links down in the description for you to check them out. Otherwise, let's jump right in. Once they're released, you'll be able to find them in your mods and DLC section in the patented liquid fertilizer wagons. Here you go. We can see with the PLS 5510 liquid cart, that's going to be your dual axle, and then your single is the 2610 TB liquid cart. These are made with compatibility in mind with the John Deere C850 air cart and of course the uh, P576 air hose drill which are already out on the motto for all platforms. So let's take a look at customization. The first one is the PLS5510 liquid cart, the big boy right here. So this will hold liquid fertilizer and herbicide both 15,000 liters. Goodness gracious. It weighs 9.2 tons. Pricing is going to be 91,300 ninety dollars it's pretty hefty but you are paying for the wheels now the interesting thing is none of these wheels are actually zero dollars there's no included one they will all cost you a little bit and those tracks they are pricey 39 grand just for those so we have michelin good year now that's probably going to be changed for consoles likely lizard we also have firestone again same thing through there and susie tracks do love those let's leave them there and we could change these up with the different wheels in the front too main color so we can actually change the color of the main frame itself which is kind of nice depending on what you're using this with or for you can make this look however you want, and I do like that we've got that option. And we also have the hoses as well. You can see right here, we've gone for yellow, green, I imagine maybe the most popular color because it just stands out. You can see them better, but we've got all kinds, or if you just like things to blend in, we got the black as well. Then, of course, we have the smaller of the two carts. We have the 2610TB liquid cart, 5,000 liters. So it's got one of those tanks on it instead of three. However, I will say, I think this one may be a little bit more detailed than the other one. I mean, it's, this is ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. This is insane. But this one's got all the gauges and stuff. All the, I don't know. Something about this one looks cool to me. Regardless, it weighs 6.3 tons and it is 91,390 bucks or what's well, 80 grand. And then you can add some tracks. Now, the nice thing is we do have Michelin and Susie tracks on here as well. So you've got those, but we do not have the other hookups. Now, speaking of hookups, we have a front hitch, which can hook up wherever you need it to, and a rear hitch, which can, again, hook up to wherever you need it to. And on here, we've got that front hitch, but no rear hitch so this one is always going to be a trailed version whereas this could actually be used in the middle and it looks like as well if you want to hook a couple of these together go for it so this is definitely going to be one of those times where you need to add that rear hitch on the back if you don't add that rear hitch you are not going to be able to add those massive areas to it so let's go and get ourselves one of those in Oh, we need one of these as well, don't we? Let's go and get that. As mentioned, if you want to hook a couple of these up, go for it. And we even have some of the attachments to go with it with the air hoses, which is very, very nice. And once you get all of these hooked up, you will see here that we've got connections that go directly into the cart itself, which is real nice. So the thing about this setup is it is quite a long setup. You've got your air drill. You've also got your seed tank. And of course, you've got this massive patented cart here on the back as well. So uh, just be aware, it may not be the easiest thing to drive from point A to point B. I've also got this guy, 
We have our, well, main uh, <laughs> main tractor, just the base game. Nothing crazy there. Let's go ahead and drop that down. We will turn it on. We are just planting wheat. Nice and easy and driving forward. And as you can tell, we are also fertilizing. One neat thing is that uh that tank. Oh, oh, there we go. Oop, crap, turned it off. Well, there you go. You can see the area that didn't fertilize. So this is nice because now you can carry a full amount of seed and you can fertilize all at the same time or you can inject herbicide if you really want to. It could do that too. So there you go. How cool is that? That's a one heck of a setup, dude. Now something else kind of interesting. You know how their case planters have a, a, a hitch on the back and we've been like, well, what do we, what do we hook up to that? Well, here is a case magnum. We've got a base game fully decked out with the biggest horsepower. Got the smallest planter because we don't need a, a big one to do this. And we're just kind of going back up to the small pantser right here. Hook it up. And all of a sudden now we've got a, we've got a little setup. Not only that, but all of the stuff is hooked up. All the stuff. A lot of weight. Maybe not all the stuff. Is that all the stuff? I don't know. It's awesome either way. We could probably put that in, in the middle and it would make a little bit more sense. All right, so now we've got this bit. We'll go ahead and turn it on and rock and roll. We're playing some corn. And again, we are spreading fertilizer as well as planting. This is... This is nice. I like these little tanks. These are cool. I know we got a couple tanks that kind of do something similar or are similar in some way, shape, or form, but you know, it's really nice to have some branded stuff that people are familiar with. This is pretty cool, man. Custom Awning did a good job. Well, guys, that is it for this one. I do want to thank Custom Awning again for sending these over to take a first look at with those guys, or without them, rather. This would not have been possible. So thank you, Custom Modding, for this. The patented liquid fertilizer wagons. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Again, these are still being worked on, finished up. Then they're going to be sent off for mod up for testing for all platforms. And hopefully we will see them soon if you have any questions about these please post them down in the comment section below otherwise hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos like this one here on the channel otherwise uh did i say otherwise how many times did i say otherwise let me know uh otherwise uh, uh drop drop a like did that one already uh, all right let's get out of here we'll see you guys later Peace. <laughs>